for Kurt Angle and the TNA World's title at Lockdown. Things change drastically we're in that cage. A lot more danger than compared to, you know, just having ropes. You're stuck in there. You're trapped in there. I mean, that's exactly why I'm here, you know. I'm training in the cage. Is Kurt training in the cage? You know, is Kurt getting ready like I'm getting ready? You know, as far as I'm concerned, Kurt, Kurt's using all this money, and he's trying to surround himself with the most high-priced, you know, training talent in the world. You know, money can't buy you heart, Kurt. Money can't buy you desire. And this, this isn't about money. This is about that championship. This is about me coming after you and taking what you hold most dear. Watching him fight is always, it, it's kind of like the Mike Tyson of the old days where, you know, you get this guy who's fast and explosive and has, and is pulling out moves that you just can't believe a guy like him is so agile and can do. So, you know, this guy is just all around excitement and, you know, the fans love him. You know, as far as the previous matches go and Kurt, I mean, He's outpaced kind of a couple of them, but I mean, everybody knows it's never been just me and Kurt in the ring. You know, it's always been Kurt and his wife, or Kurt and five other guys. You know, uh, for an Olympic athlete, for a world champion, I've never seen a guy show up to a fight with so much backup in my life. And uh, Six Sides of Steel, it's a different story, you know? Nobody's in that ring, it's just me and him. The one thing that he's got that I think is definitely key in this is like I keep pointing out, and that's that the guy is just an absolute animal. He goes out there, he goes for the kill, um, and I think that's gonna fit real good in uh, this scenario in the Six Sides of Steel. Everybody knows every time I've had Kurt one-on-one, -on -one, he's never got out alive and he won't get out this time.